It was a crime that sent shockwaves across South Florida and the country. Three teens beat a homeless man to death in Fort Lauderdale in 2006, a murder many to this day have not forgotten. Well, now fast forward to present, and one of the teens has received a college degree. Yeah, it's part of Miami-Dade College's inaugural program that helps build a pathway from prison. CBS 4's Joe Gorsho explains how this program transforms lives and makes communities even safer. Smiles fill the room. Families are joyful to see loved ones convicted of wrongdoing do good, earning a college degree. Excellence is the highest pursuit for human beings. A college professor engages with students in a philosophy class, preparing them for the final exam. Atheism is disbelief in God. Christian Echeverria diligently takes notes in front. The South Florida native was 15 years old when he entered the prison system. Prior to coming to prison, I was a gifted student, advanced placement, IQ of 130, you name it, I had it. I had a way out, and I lost the struggle. He has spent 23 years behind bars for a second-degree murder conviction in 1999. Years passed before understanding the weight of his actions and following the wrong crowd. All the wrong that I've done, I did, it just hit me at one moment. A moment transformed to pursue higher learning. I feel like a human being. We have to be excellent because of what it matters to our community, how it matters to our family, and it matters to the people around us that we love most. Graduation class speaker Thomas Dougherty has served 17 years since he was 17. It was rough. And then, um, but you know, you just knew you had to keep going. He and two other teens killed a homeless man in 2006 with a baseball bat. The crime received national attention. His original sentence was life behind bars. After the Supreme Court ruled juveniles couldn't be sentenced to life, Dougherty's revised sentence ends in 2027, and he will leave as an inspired college grad. To better the world around us. In January 2021, they were admitted into the Second Chance Pell experiment funded by the U.S. Department of Education. The grant helps support their enrollment in the program Miami-Dade College runs at Everglades Correctional Institution. Is that it empowers our students for the first time ever or in many, many years and for some decades. They are finally feeling some self-worth. Samantha Carlo is an associate professor senior at MDC School of Justice. Students show their appreciation at the ceremony for their education. Carlo says students receive a robust liberal arts education in an 18th month, five semester program. We think that everybody is worthy of an education. A Vera Institute of Justice study reveals that incarcerated people who participate in such programs are 48% less likely to reoffend than those who do not. Fewer crimes mean fewer victims and safer communities. Stanley Stovall is one of 17 students to walk across the stage with a degree earned from the program. The intellectual journey and the stuff that I'm learning is really touching to me. It's touching my heart. The 65-year-old has been in and out of the system his entire adult life. Crimes ranging from grand theft to burglary with a gun. His family inspires him to grow like this knowledge plant that sits above his desk, an homage to his mother and future aspirations to become a PhD. When I brought him in there, he only had two leads, now he has four. He's prospering, and that's what I want to do, prosper. Joe Gorcho, CBS News, Miami. And these students are the first group to start and complete this Miami-Dade College program at Everglades Correctional. Now all have been accepted and enrolled into a business management bachelor's program also at MDC. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? Congratulations to them.